Did you ever ask yourself why governments exist? Why do we have them in the first place? What did they do for us, specifically? And what would it be like if we didn't have them? Answering this question is the central theme of this course. Basically, there are six broad categories in which governments of states make choices about how they interact with their citizens. Community and nation building. Security. Property rights. Economic efficiency. Social justice. Means to assure protection. Let's take a look at each of those six things. Number one, community and nation building. Governments should be focused on your safety and your comfort, making sure that all individuals are valued as citizens. Number two, security. A good government should meet the need for its people to feel secure in the establishment of rule by law and in the provision of an orderly, predictable society. Number three, property rights. Governments should protect your property. You shouldn't have to worry about anyone stealing the shirt off your back. Number four, economic efficiency. Governments have to balance economic efficiency and growth with the possible negative consequences of that growth. It's their job to prevent abuses of market power by large corporations, as well as worker exploitation and environmental degradation. Number five, social justice. All citizens should be entitled to basic human rights. Governments should protect your freedom of thought and speech, as well as such things as your ability to choose your own career path and life goals. Number six, means to assure protection. From a degraded environment, you're entitled to clean air, enormous government debt, your government should provide the healthiest economy it can, or institutionalized inequalities. Everyone should be entitled to the same rights and opportunities. What do you think? Does your government do all those things for you? And here's a thought. What if government goes horribly wrong? Sometimes, government can be the problem. Political actions cause, reinforce, or create problems if governments allow the following conditions to exist. Destruction of a sense of community. Violation of basic human rights. Inability or unwillingness to address issues of economic inefficiency. Domination of government by elites. Exploitation of national resources to benefit a small part of the population. Unwillingness to take on vested interests. Pull of political inertia and the idea of doing business as usual. As you learn about the government and politics of the core nations we examine in this course, you'll see that government action, or inaction, can sometimes be the problem.